That's it. Vicious bugger. <laughs> You must prepare, child, for the earth is bleeding and the harvest is upon us. Stay away, whoever you are. This is no time for petty quarrels, my champion. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. I am not your champion. But of course you are, son. As surely as you are the blood of my blood. I had to kill Mary. I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to me. Silence! I dismiss you now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence! Tired of all these puppet shows. I'll show them war! Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment. Thank <laughs> you. 
So this is where she lives. What a splendid house. Reed, welcome. How are you? As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. I hope I haven't disturbed you. Not at all. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. How strange, this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. I did not know you were a painter, my lady. There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Please. Call me Jonathan. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? I came to the conclusion that my maker, whoever he might be, must be a powerful vampire. Certainly extremely old. How have you reached this conclusion? He is the only immortal I've seen appear in an ethereal form. His voice, his words seemed ancient. It was disturbing. I am afraid you are right. The simple fact that your blood made Mary such a strong Ekon proves that you must be of ancient lineage. I felt this power radiating like an aura every time he appeared. Most ancestral vampires of England were killed by the guard of Prewen half a century ago. I wonder who your maker could be. You have no idea who he could be? Some of the ancient ones fled England. Some may still be in hiding. All I know is you, my friend, are a pawn in some secret and obscure game of chess. My sister Mary, she was made a vampire in the same way I was. She was the one killing all those people everywhere I went. Vengeance is a powerful force for those betrayed. Made vampire through careless error. Victims by surprise. I swear I did not intend that. If only I had known then how vampires are created. That is the scientist speaking. In truth, most of us do not know how it really works. Personally, I make sure my prey will not return to haunt me. What do you mean? I am merciless, Jonathan. I only feed on the dying, and I make sure they are dead before leaving their remains. In the end, she implored me to put an end to her misery. But still, I felt I had taken her life twice. I am so sorry for my accidental cruelty. Had I known your dear Mary was still alive, I would never have sent you to pray for her soul in that church. There is no need to apologize, my lady. Your words have been most helpful in these difficult times. Thank you, my friend. If only we could have guided your poor sister through her terrible nightmare. I think I should ask the questions, your ladyship. 
After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted to discuss mundane matters and idle trivialities. If we survive the dark nights to come, we shall have all the time in the world to speak, you and I. For now, please follow me, Jonathan. I must say, your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down, but I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make-believe, and of course to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. Please, call me Elizabeth. So, my lady, why truly did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. Who are they, really? They are the embodiment of vampire law in Britain. Some say they influence the destiny of the Empire. Some believe they merely protect it. How many are they? Only a small number of powerful and deceitful immortals. All of them entangled in a sticky web of shadow cabinets, influencing trade. Will they fight the guard of Prewen? I doubt it. Fergal was Lord Redgrave's executioner forever and a day. By defeating that beast, you deprive them of a powerful weapon. Why use you to contact me? Because they know we are close. The Ascalon Club has many spies. Their main occupation is gathering information and then deciding how to use it. They have done nothing but impede my investigations since I became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure I can accept their invitation. I have seen their handiwork. How Fergal the Beast imposed the club's law. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave, the chairman of the Ascalon Club. What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? Who is he? Lord Redgrave is the founder and chairman of the Ascalon Club. Most mortals know him as the Earl of Bristol. He is rich and extremely influential. How old is he? How long has he been a vampire? Lord Redgrave claims to be the progeny of William Marshall, the most valiant knight who ever lived. If that is true, he could be very old. If you are convinced I must meet him, I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite. But we have no choice. Is the situation that critical? Yes. The Guard of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind. And they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. You should flee then. Leave London, the country even. I have seen the guard in action. They are merciless. Your concern warms my heart, Jonathan. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. Thank you for the offer. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker. I doubt it. 
If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. One day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. And I shall help you in your research, I promise. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No, you will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our discoveries. I want to thank you for all your support and your help, my lady. Could you do me a last great favor and call me Elizabeth? I should be honored, my lady. Then it is settled. Finally, some good news in these dark hours. Thank you. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. We may be deceptive by nature, but this heart of mine has always told the truth. Oh. Elizabeth. Go, my friend. But come back to me soon. So, time to visit the Ascalon Club. I cannot enter. It's locked, all right. Thank <laughs> you. 
cannot enter. That was the vampire I saw earlier. This war takes no prisoners. West End. Never have I felt so sad to be back home. Ascalon Club, the heart of British vampire society. Not quite as subtle as I... Good evening, miss. Oh my god, no. Please, Mr. Vampire, don't... Wait, no. Don't worry, Dr. Reed. I know you wouldn't harm me. Mother... Your mother? My name is Charlotte, sir. Charlotte Ashbury. I understand she also taught you how to tease and gently mock it. Tell me about your... What do you want to know? Who are your real... Elizabeth Ashbury is my real mother. Do you live with her? I still spend a lot of time in my... How did you meet Lady... First, I was an orphan in the institution for... Did you know she was a vampire when she... The correct word is Econ, Doctor. And... What do you think about this part of... I was raised here, and I suppose it feels like home. Yes, I was... A small world, is it not? Did you... you won't trick me twice, young lady. We... Come on, Doctor. Don't tell me you never thought... Is there something that's bothered... Too much selfishness and individualism for my taste. Even when there was no epidemic. Even if that's partly true, may I... I suppose you're right. What are you doing out here? You mean, what do I do outside at night, since I am a woman? Let me ask you a question, sir. Would you ask the same question of a man? Actually, yes. I ask the same question to everyone who dares to go outside at night, considering the risks. Well, if... Are you a suffragette, then? Oh, you really are. All adult women have the right to vote in the US. No need to convince me, Miss... Really? Oh. How are the locals reacting to you? People here can't wait for a... Explosives are very... She is my best friend, and... Have you any reason to be... Recently, Emily started to... Let me guess. Oh, that would be top-notch. What exactly has you... Your name and profession, obviously. Does it not scare you to know... Why should it? My mother is the most... Yes, you should. I killed my own sister. You can't be si- Wait. Glad you found it amusing. But do. I will, Dr. Reed.
Do you know why Lady Asprey chose you to be- No, I don't. Each time- Do you ever regret? Of course not. Do you need my- I am fine. Goodbye, Charlotte. She's been- didn't recognize you either. When did you escape the war? You know what's funny? I all... I know what you mean. Of course. Yeah. What is this new... I saw terrible things during the war. How is your wife? We've spent so much time away from each other. But you're alive. You returned in one piece. Believe me, it's not quite that simple. Is everything all right at home? Sure. Have you forgot what people are like in this part of town, Johnny? Do you need... It's a little late for visit. I will... You need... Good evening, sir. Please forgive me for disturbing you. I never judge a man by his title, but by his attitude. Well, I must admit, it's good to receive... Welcome, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me? I recently found the best... Finding a good record. Oh, I have many. I must confess, I have quite... Really? Well, I'm all... How is the... Life is good. Are you not concerned? Oh, I'm sure the authority... I'm afraid the newspapers are... Well, that's... Neat. Is it not a little too... On the contrary, it is the perf... But what about the epit... Please, sir. The... So you prefer to... Oh, I... Do you have any fam... Not since my parents that... Really? But you seem... I'm afraid the real hedonist has to be... London's low... I use that name in my... Ear. I may have a look at you.
Do you know where you are standing right now? In front of the Ascalon Club, I presume. The Ascalon Club only summons or ostracizes. What is your business tonight? I received an invitation. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. Lord Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. There has been quite a battle here. I'm sure the Ascalon Club has the money to replace the furniture. It's locked. My good friends, if I may have your attention. Behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed. Newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bansher was no match for him. Here, here, here. Come forward, young Ekon, for we have so much to discuss. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave, Earl of Bristol and Chairman of this exclusive association. Lord Redgrave. At last we meet. I have been eager to make your acquaintance. I have heard some astounding things about you. Please accept my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Ashbury expressed your wish to meet me. Yes. The lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? She's a close friend, and I'm honored that she feels the same about me. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. Do fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord, do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? I speak of this skull plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End, but the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain, but we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. Why are you suddenly so friendly? The last time I met one of yours, he tried to kill me. Are you referring to Fergal? He was the most useful of servants, but he was just a servant. You, on the other hand, Doctor, proved yourself much more worthy. 
You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End? Is that it? Ah, straight to the point, like all eager newborns. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. But first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well, no. I also wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? How dare you speak so flippantly of my family? Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club, and to serve me as such. Before I accept, I have so many questions. Please ask. I killed Fergal, who claimed to be one of yours, sent to cleanse the East End of all Skulls. Will his death be an issue? Do not worry. My priorities have changed. Fergal was a zealous servant of mine, but like any servant, he had his limitations and is readily replaced if necessary. What does it mean to be a member of the Ascalon Club? It means that you swear to protect the interests of the Crown that you become a loyal servant of the British Empire. Do you have any official recognition from the government? A charter from His Majesty the King? No. Of course, the Ascalon Club publicly supports the Empire, but the true nature of its members remains a secret. Am I supposed to follow orders? As founder and chairman of the club, I alone am entitled to make demands of our members. And I do appreciate obedience. What is the Ascalon Club's express purpose? We follow the credo of William Marshall, the greatest knight who ever lived. As was he, we are sworn to protect the British Empire. William Marshall founded the Ascalon Club. Not exactly. William Marshall granted me immortality, and I founded the club a few years later. The good knight has been gone for so long. What does Ascalon mean? Ascalon was the lance wielded by St. George, glorious patron saint of England when he slew the dragon. And like that lance, we pierce the hearts of all our nation's enemies. I agree to join the club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the assembly formally and proceed with your initiation. My initiation? Fear not. Nothing fancy nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. My fellow members, dear friends, Please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Is his blood pure? Well, speak, Dr. Reed, in front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall. Speak now. Will you serve and protect the crown as he did? Yes, I will. Then, young Ekon, it is time to testify with your blood. It is time to sign the Book of Allegiance. I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the backbone of our nation.
dreadful. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. Take your place among the bearers of the lance. One of us! One of us! That went well, did it not? It is always useful to bolster the troops morale, especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general, my lord. I was, though very long ago, well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Ekon. All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Bearer. I'm listening. According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic, and your findings were quite alarming. Do you know Edgar Swansea? Not personally, but I've been told... Does it bother you that I can... As long as you reveal nothing of the... Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the skulls. I have met peaceful and wise Skarls. To exterminate them means we are no better than vampire hunters. Skarls are hideous, shameful creatures that give all Ekon a bad name. So, what do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club, and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find, and get results. How is your investigation going, Dr. Reed? I have a few quests. All right, but be... May I... A member... So... Indeed. But Mr. Dor... Alois... You may... Will you... Why... He was... With that... What can... It's a... I have... The guard... I see. Exit. What about... That is... Goodbye. Godspeed. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's quite unsettling. Do not be alarmed. May I ask? Why would you be... Well, as you see... Ah! Vampire said... Mr. Dawson. Of Dawson and... A withering London figurehead. Are you sick, Mr. Dawson? My case is beyond the scope of traditional... I'm sorry to hear that. Absolutely not. Money. You're right. What is your quarantine? Have been everywhere. Complete isolation has proven effective throughout it. I am glad. Are you not, Miss? Why do you care? Are you not a va- I'm sure you have more important things to do than talking with an old man like myself.
Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Doctor. I think Lord Redgrave just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. Good evening, Miss. And good. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in the. A few days ago, I spotted a strange house. Where is it? It's the Mullanies, a nice family who. Goodbye. She's been. I'm investigating the so not really. Wait. No. Thank you. It may they have a house in the southern part of the district, somewhere north of Goodbye. Remember, don't let any strangers come into your house. Crush the leech, oh. boys! This woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage.
He had his tongue removed and his eyes gouged out. He was a victim of brutal torture. This one's neck is broken. He was young. Probably the son. your family. They mocked my talent! stage in the disease's evolution? <laughs> so, this girl took lessons at the famous Doris Fletcher acting school. Good evening, old chap. I won't lie. I'm in Infection is everywhere these days. Yes? Not enough. You need...
building is under quarantine. Could this be what I'm looking for? I cannot enter. I'm doing this.
So the husband had an affair with Doris Fletcher.
my god! It's locked. Looked all right. <laughs> 